going on, folks? Mark Millett from Solar World here. This is one of our off-grid applications um, right here in uh, Central Texas. So this one is a monocrystalline, non-bifacial, 455-watt uh, solar panel by Solar Ever. So there's a grand total of 21 in a series. Um, not in the series. Let me rephrase that. We have two inverters, a little bit of a, uh, reverse engineering by using Ohm's Law. So we have five panels on PV1. Five panels on PV2, six on PV3, six on PV4. Does that make sense? Okay, I hope so. So it's kind of a, a wonky number to get the uh, the matching number. And uh, since we're using the EG4 uh, 6.5 kWs, they have two MPPT uh, solar controllers. I'll show you that in a second here. So we got all these wired up using the actual PV wire that uh, like they're they're basically supplied here to run up into our junction boxes, coming back down. Everything's caulked from the inside, sealed tight, ran down. Not done with all the tags yet. Uh, a little bit of a septic issue kind of thing going on, right? So we had to basically, you know, step our stuff away. Went into this junction box, which we didn't even need. Ran across the uh, the bottom here because we are mounting that to the uh, um, to the actual bottom of the uh, of the R panel. And then in here we have the setup. Door. Door. All right. So what you're seeing here is the EG4 uh, cabinet and three of the batteries. So we have about 15 kW worth of power sitting in the uh, storage bank right now. Um, they're not charging as of right now. Let's see, PV's coming in. So it says it's charging the batteries, just not very uh, sunny outside. So everything's probably in reverse because I have the camera the way it is. 120 volts, individual system. So L1, L2 are on the individual systems coming in through the uh, transfer switch here. We supply a little handle. There we go. So we stick that inside there and we're able to go back to grid or not, vice versa. Now, if we shut off the power here, this is transferred to the house. So we're able to shut it off completely. Turn it right back on, no big deal. Now, what's really, really cool is since this is on L1 and on its own circuit for L2, the neutrals are bonded on the actual leg itself. Ground is on a separate ground from the actual house itself. And that's where all the wiring is coming up through the box here, going into the wall and into our panels that basically we ran the transfer switch um, and seal tight underneath coming up into here for outgoing power, which is basically uh, trans, uh, uh, inverter one and two, for L1 and L2 for power output. So this is just a power output uh, uh, hub right here. And then this goes into the top of the leg. Let me go ahead and give me a second here. I'll address this. Okay, so what you're seeing here is the actual inside part of the transfer switch. Um, for black and red is labeled for L1 and L2. And then neutral is always neutral and ground is always ground. Don't get those confused that neutral is ground or vice versa that you can go ahead and uh, um, switch those back and forth because that's not the way it's supposed to work. So anyways, uh, how this works is we basically took all these switches and transferred them from here to over there. That was the first thing. That came in through the seal tight, and as you could tell through lines and everything else, and ground going into ground, and uh, loads going into loads, and then uh, neutral into neutral. So, sorry sounding redundant, but I'm trying to explain this because there's a lot to it. Um, so, then we have inverter one and inverter two, both feeding behind the wall, going into L1 and L2, uh, neutral and ground, as well into the system, right? So that's power output going into him. So then that's ran back up, and through that field tight, we have power coming in. Now, normally on the top end side of the load, we would have house power, which is, you know, normal house. And then on the bottom side, normal generator and, or, or inverters or things of that nature would be on the bottom side. We're not doing it that way. We want the house power coming directly from the inverters first. So when these turn on, it automatically choosh, switches up and activates uh, L1 and L2 neutral and ground giving the, uh, the actual power load out to the, the breakers here. So if we want to demonstrate, for example, if I should just shut off one of the inverters, as you can tell. Okay, so that went off. All these are still on. Turn him on, comes back on. 
independent, can't disturb each other, same thing, turn him off, same thing, all the power's going off, turn it back on, bam, power's back on, goes right back into a uh, um, battery, which is charging itself right now, I like these little optic lights, they get kind of a little disco-like, you know, anywho, uh, not particularly a fan of how the wiring situation is for the battery. Uh, we are limited on the wiring. This is a customer supplied job. We did not uh, supply the supplies for this job. I just am hooking up what they have and uh, making the best of it. So, anywho, and that's the transfer switch right there. Anywho, if you have any questions, uh, Feel free to ask. I mean, I'm always investigating uh, new equipment so forth like that. This is my first time dealing with the EG4 6.5 KW platform. I didn't particularly like the, uh, the EG4 6.0s. Uh, there were some software issues, but, you know, we'll work those out in the next videos. Uh, but anyways, let me know what you think. God bless.